Coming to uh, Joel, it's Joel chapter 2, the 12th verse through the 27th verse. And this is what I have been studying and reflecting upon and uh, meditating on. And so during my prayer time, this is what the Lord spoke to me. And this is according to the word of the Lord. Return unto me with your whole heart, a heart of repentance, says the Lord. For I am gracious and merciful. I am slow to anger. Then shout with a voice of triumph, beloved, and sing praises unto the Lord your God. For he is faithful and just to do according to what he has promised. Fear not and be glad. Rejoice. For the Lord will do great and wondrous things. As I have called you to repent and to return to me, says the Lord, I will indeed show you favor and have mercy upon you. Yes, beloved, great calamity has come upon this land. Oh, but my loving kindness and tender mercy will always remain. Come near unto me, for I, the Lord your God, will give you peace. I will give you rest. Humble yourselves before the Lord your God and return unto me. I am God, and I am in control over all the heavens and the earth. My kingdom rules. I am the most high sovereign God and all flesh is subject to my rule. Rejoice in the Lord your God for he beloved has given you the former reign. Yes, he's given you former blessings and he shall now give you once again both the former and the latter rain. He will give you once again both the former and the latter blessings in this new season. And there shall be plenty. There shall be overflow with great resources. I will restore to you the years that previous harvests have been destroyed and resources have been taken away from you. I will restore years of opportunity, years of success, years of prosperity that I intended for you as a people. You will have plenty. You will be satisfied. And you will praise the name of the Lord your God, Jehovah, El Elyon, who is the Most High God. And you will know that I am in the midst of you. Beloved, posture yourself. Repent and have faith. Praise the name of your God, for it is he who is moving to do something miraculous for you. Your obedience will put a demand on God to ensure repayment and restoration to you for what you have lost and for what you have suffered. This is the season of restoration and recompense. I will restore you better than you were before and for your good and all for my glory. No one can stop what I am doing for you. Mercy, beloved, is being poured out. And you, I ask that you give me praise 
So shout with a voice of triumph. Shout with a voice of praise. For the Lord your God is holding himself obligated to restore and to repay. For behold, I do a new thing. Shall you not know it?